usernames, passwords, emails? What is the difference? Well, after this video today, you're gonna know the difference between all three and be able to figure out your own. I'll see you in a bit. The difference between a username, password, and email address is not as complicated as you think. Once you know and learn the terms, you will be good to go. First, a username is the name that you use to log into an account. It might not always look like your first name. Sometimes it will, sometimes it might be kind of random. And you might also have different usernames for different accounts. So just be careful you keep track of all of those in a safe place. Typically, when you log into an online account, it will ask for your username first. So here is an example. Along with your username, you typically have a password, and a password is your super secret code that you use with your username to help log into your account. Now, as a kid, a lot of times your username and password will be given to you. If you are creating an account with your parents at home, you want to make sure you have a super secure password, and secure means like super, super, super safe. Nobody can hack it or get in. Secure passwords have a combination of numbers, letters with uppercase and lowercase, and symbols. This password would be fairly secure because it has a combination. And a good little tip if you are able to create passwords is to use numbers instead of letters. So for super, I used a three instead of an E tricky. And again, you might also have different passwords for different things. An email address is a username in the front, the at symbol behind it, then the hosting site. So whatever website is giving you an email address, it will put that at the end. So if you have an email address with your school or your school district, it will put that name of the school or however they want it written out at the end. A lot of times for schools, they will give you your username, your school username, and that school username will be in the front before the at symbol and then the school name behind it. Typically, you'll use email addresses to log into email when you get to be a little bit older or other types of accounts. So we are going to practice with your username, password, and email address, and the teacher will want to pause this in a second. I'll tell you where to pause to get your materials ready. So in a second, you're going to have your teacher, ask your teacher where your username and password and email information is stored in the classroom. It might actually be in a couple of places. It should be in a place that is safe, but easy for you to find. Then you're also, you're going to get that information and next you're going to grab a notebook or a whiteboard and marker and then I will go through the rest. So pause the video and get the rest of those materials so we can get started. All right, so you have your materials ready. We're going to do some practice. Okay, point to your username. Perfect. Okay, point to your password. Awesome. Okay, point to your email. Great. Okay, here's what you're going to do. On your notebook paper or whiteboard and marker, I want you to write your username in your very best handwriting. Go. You can pause. All right, hold up your beautiful username that you just wrote out. Awesome, good work. All right, the next one, you can erase, 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 or just move down on your paper. I want you to write your password five times but don't tell anybody, that's your password. Write it down five times. Pause the video. All right, good job. Okay, now I want you to write down your email address 
And after you write it down, I want you to underline which part of the email is your username. Pause. All right, good work. Keep practicing that username or password. I know if you have a very long name, it might be hard to remember, but you will get it. You are going to do great and I'll talk to you soon. Thumbs up if you know where to find your username. Give me a air high five if you know where to find your password. And bonus, give me a little dance if you know where to find your email. And last but not least, hands up in the air if you actually have all three memorized. If you don't have it memorized yet, you will soon and you'll be doing a happy dance with me. I can't wait to see you. We'll talk to you later.